Welcome to St. Lawrence Church, one of the churches in the Fellside team which is having its Harvest Festival this Sunday. And so I thought I'd take you for a little tour around the church if you're not going to be able to uh, see it or visit it on this Sunday. So we're going to start at the back here uh, with the font. And you'll see that it has been beautifully decorated with flowers in all kinds of autumn colours, uh, always very beautifully done. And then as we move around the church, you'll see that each of the window bottoms has been decorated by different people, uh, picking up on harvest and autumn themes. Some, it's obvious who they've been done by, some not, not so obvious. Uh, you'll see here by the Barton Preschool. And then moving on with autumn colours and flowers in the window bottoms here, uh, all looking very beautiful uh, and with lots of nice looking apples there as well. This next one, I think some of the things here give a little bit of a clue as to who might have done it. Tape measures and bowls and things like that. Uh, and of course, beautiful sunflowers. And then as we move along, we come to um, some work done by the school. And here we have a window with prayers and uh, pictures of people planting rice and also watering cans and other uh, implements uh, for gardening and things like that. Uh, the rice, of course, picking up on uh, the theme that we have of staple foods here in Barton. And then the display on the wall about different aspects of harvest and the pictures on the wall there. We have thanksgiving and worship and blessings and celebration and thankfulness and singing and love. Um, and then down on the table in front of us, uh, a trug of beautiful apples uh, with flowers as well and a picture of Lawrence Mouse. Now, Lawrence Mouse hides somewhere around the church and uh, if you spot him, there's usually a gift there that you can perhaps take to give to somebody. So if you come here uh, on Sunday, do please look out for Lawrence Mouse. And then we move across to the pulpit, uh, which has been decorated up with some corn sheaves. And moving over to the far side of the pulpit, we've got the beginning of some harvest gifts. I think these ones coming from the school. And you'll see not only lots of wonderful tins of food that can go to the food bank and the Salvation Army, but also prayers along the edge of the box, done by different children in the school. And more prayers down there at the bottom. And then coming up into the past the conquers and things like that, we come up looking around at the altar and some of the harvest gifts that have already arrived. We're collecting this year for the Salvation Army and for the food bank. Uh, and they particularly need tinned and dried food. Uh, I know we like to give fruit and vegetables, but they're struggling to cope with uh, processing all that. And so we've got actually lots of bags here full of tinned food and things that the school have already bought. And I'm sure we'll get some more harvest gifts on Sunday. You can drop them in at any time when the church is open. And then as we look across into the Lady Chapel, uh, avoiding the red tape and things like that, uh, we can see that it's all been beautifully decorated up in the Lady Chapel. Uh, I, and I, we're going to move around there to go and see how that has been decorated. More corn sheaves on the end of the pews and past the war memorial and the beautiful sunflowers uh, and other things that are there. And as we come into the Lady Chapel, you can see that... Uh, not only the top of the vestment box, but also 
on the top of the altar and everything has all been decorated up uh, extremely beautiful with some wonderful flowers and picking up on the autumn colours. You might notice across to the right of the church, of, of the altar there, there's a model of St. Lawrence Church that was given to us fairly recently. And we continue with the autumn colours all around the window bottoms up on the sides and at the back here with the candles. And then we head down into the south aisle and the window bottom is decorated up here with uh, beautiful fruit and veg and flowers and finally to our last window bottom that contains rice as well as flowers and other things as well but you will see in here uh, basmati rice and pictures of rice growing we are focusing in our different churches in the Fellside team at this Harvest Festival on the different staple foods around the world. And uh, the one for you for Barton is rice, which is that staple food for so many people uh, and is the basis of so many diets, not just in this country, but all around the world. And so it is really good to see all these beautiful harvest decoration and the harvest gifts and all that uh, is getting ready for our Harvest Festival on Sunday. The service itself is at 10 o'clock. Uh, we do have limited numbers. You can see that we've had to um, rope off a lot of the pews for social distancing and things like that. But the church is going to be open all day uh, on Sunday so that you can come in, even if you don't come to the service uh, so that you can pray and if you want to bring harvest gifts for the Salvation Army and the food bank, please do that as well.